Hi there, I'm Black Bright and broadcasting out of the UK and today's video is about whether or not the Home Office is holding applicants hostage until children are over 18. Um, I've had quite a few emails um, stating that um, the child is approaching 18, nearly 18. They sent their application off months ago. They haven't heard anything and they're worried that the Home Office is waiting until the child is 18. Now you remember that I did a video where a girl was in the country from she was eight and they didn't do anything until she was 18 and they took steps to deport her. So that to me was a deliberate attempt to wait until she reached the age of adulthood so she would have to then take an adult responsibility and be deported. Now, for parents who are hoping to get their citizenship through their children, um, it's a bit different because if one parent is um, a British citizen, then that child will be a British citizen. But it's about the other parent who's not a British citizen. And in, in some of the cases that I've got emails for, it's the father who's not a British citizen who is trying to get the citizenship on the back of the child who is a British citizenship and is not hearing anything and the child is approaching 18 years. Now, there could be a reason for this. Well, there's two things about this, because number one, if the parent who wants citizenship through the child is illegal or has um, or is applying for citizenship, is legal and is applying for citizenship, has got no lapses or anything like that then they could be waiting until the child is 18. So the child then has to sponsor the parent. And of course, they get more money that way. Or if the parent who is trying to get citizenship through the child is not legal, then that person will not, it won't be admissible. They will not be able to get citizenship through that child. The child is 18 and that, and the, um, and that child is going to have to sponsor that parent. Um, he'd have to sponsor that parent as a dependent because that parent may not be able to work until a certain time. Um, and then what makes it worse is that that child, 18 year old child, would have to prove that he or she can actually afford to look after that parent. And that shows, apart from the fee being, you know, about 3,250, it kind of jumps depending on the circumstances for one, from 1,000 and something to 3,250, depending on whether or not the parent is dependent. Um, but the thing with that is that if, the, if that child has to sponsor that parent, how is he going to do that? With a 3,250 3, fee, he'll probably have to have that, you know, the 18,000 200 whatever it is 18,600 threshold which is about 360 pounds a week in order to show now I don't know what happens if the parent can also well the parent of the child that's born in the UK there's nothing in that I can read that if the parent and the child can sponsor the father who we're assuming is is legally in the country, then it might be those two, they can work together to let the child stay. But at the moment, it does look as though if the child is approaching 18, there does seem to be, I'm not going to say deliberate delays, but unusual delays for those kind of situations where the child is approaching 18, which I don't think is fair. They shouldn't kind of drag it out until that point just to do that. Um, but that's all I can say really with that. I don't think, um, yeah, I think I've said about, you know, if the stumbling block is if the parents are not legally in the country, whichever parent it is. Um, yeah, if the child reaches 18, it can sponsor the parent, very expensive. And the child, oh, another thing, well, I think you do know this, but there are about, how many, 65,000 children 
in the country who are not registered because the parents haven't been able to afford to pay for the registration. And because of that, those children are not going to be able to work. They're not going to have access to funds. They're not going to have a driving license. They're not going to be able to do anything. So these children who, these 65,000 kids who are in the UK who have not been registered, either because the parents didn't know they had to register them or because the parents can't afford to register them, those children could actually be booted out of the country and be stateless. So there is a charity called the Project for the Registration of Children as a British Citizen. I don't know what they do, but perhaps if you have a child who you haven't registered for whatever reason, um, you might want to get in touch with them because it's going to be a sorry state of affairs for all those children who are out there. So, yeah, I hope this is helpful. I can't think of anything else to say. Um, but they can apply, let me see, born to a parent who gains British citizenship or settled status after their birth doesn't automatically qualify for British citizenship. They can apply under the British Nationality Act 1981 and register for £973 if they're under 18 and if they are 18 or over it's 1202 Yeah, so... Yeah, it, it's 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 not good really. It's not good at all. But that's the way it is. So for those people who are a bit worried whether or not the Home Office is dragging it out um, until the child is 18, very, very plausible that they are or feasible that they may be doing that. Can't say that for certain, but your guess is as good as mine. And that's all for now. Bye bye.